the top 10 best exercises for workout. Subscribe to my channel. The push-up. A push-up can be completed anywhere and uses almost every muscle in the body, particularly your chest muscles. Frequent push-ups increase your functional and core strength and can help prevent back and shoulder injuries. While the bench press is a great alternative, most of us don't lift as much weight in the bench press as we do in a push-up. In one study, researchers found that 66.4% of total body weight is lifted in a full push-up. The push-up can also be adapted to increase in difficulty by elevating both of your feet off the ground or by completing a single leg push-up. The squat? You are spoiled for choice when it comes to exercises that work the glutes, but according to research by the American Council on Exercise ACE, the squat always comes out on top. The research found that the most muscle activity in the gluteus maximus, the main muscle of the glutes, occurred during squats, but only when testers went to 90 degrees or lower. This is because the deeper a squat is, the more muscle fibers it utilizes. However, when you're completing squats you should only go as low as is comfortable for you. Once you have perfected the techniques, you can then start to add light weights to the exercise. The bicycle maneuver. The abs are often the one area most people want to focus on with their training. For a long time, sit-ups were considered the best way to tone and strengthen your abs, however, the research found that completing sit-ups alone would have little impact on toning your abs. Instead, use the bicycle maneuver to strengthen your core and to see an improvement in your abs. This exercise will strengthen your internal and external obliques among other core muscles. An added benefit of this exercise is that it requires no extra equipment and can therefore be done anywhere. Pull-up. A great exercise to work your back is the pull-up. This exercise targets the latissimus dorsi, lats, and rhomboid muscles of the back. However, due to the nature of the movement, other muscles such as the biceps and deltoid are also utilized in the pull-up. To complete a pull-up with good technique, place your hand shoulder width apart on a bar with your palms facing toward or away from you. Then pull your body weight up towards the bar, so that your chin is over the top. If you find that your legs are swinging when completing this exercise, cross your feet over to prevent unnecessary movement. Swiss Ball Hamstring Curl Completing Swiss Ball Hamstring Curls is a good way to improve your hamstrings. To complete this exercise, put your feet on a Swiss ball, so that your heels are in a stable position on the ball, then lift your body off the floor and form a straight line from your shoulders to your feet. Then proceed to roll the ball towards your body by bending your knees. Hold the position for a few seconds then roll the ball out again and repeat the movement. This particular exercise will exercise your hamstrings and also works your core due to the unstable surface of the Swiss ball. Tricep Dips When it comes to upper arms, most people think about the biceps, which run along the front of the arm. But actually, the triceps is a much bigger muscle, and working it will make the overall appearance of the arm firmer. One of the best exercises you can do to improve this muscle is tricep dips. This exercise can be completed at home with the aid of a stable chair or step. Doing tricep dips are a good way to improve your upper arm strength using only your own body weight. The lunge. The lunge is an exercise that works a range of muscles, alongside improving core strength and flexibility. The lunge is also extremely effective in improving your thighs. It is crucial that the correct technique is followed to reduce the risk of injury with this exercise. Weights can also be added once the correct lunge technique is engaged to progress further in the exercise. The lunge is another exercise that can be done anywhere, which makes it a good move to introduce into your workout. The side bridge. To tighten the muscles and reduce your risk of back pain, the side bridge is a good exercise to complete. Lie on your side with your weight resting on your forearm, so that your body is in a diagonal line, with your upper leg directly on top of your lower leg. Then lift your hips upwards so that your body is supported by the lower part of your legs and your forearm. Then repeat the exercise on the opposing side. The side bridge will also improve your core and back muscles. The single leg squat. Research at San Diego State University found that the single leg squat was the move that most challenged the gluteus medius, the muscle in the hip. To do this exercise, place both arms out in front of you, stand on one leg, and extend your floating leg slightly in front. 
then bend your supporting leg, and squat as far as you can while keeping the elevated leg from touching the floor. This exercise is difficult to master and will take a few attempts to complete with good coordination. The single leg squat is great for improving your balance, and flexibility and also for building leg strength. The lateral shoulder raise. The shoulder muscle consists of three divisions, medial, anterior, and posterior. The posterior assists in exercises such as the seated row, while the anterior is active virtually every time the chest muscles are working. The lateral shoulder raise is a good exercise to target the medial head alongside working the other two muscles. Stand with a dumbbell in each hand and lean forward slightly. Then lift the dumbbells out to your side maintaining a slight bend in each elbow until they reach just past the shoulder point. Lower the weights and repeat. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for new video update.